Hi guys, my name is Timmy and today we're going to talk about another fragrance from the Swiss Arabian's Exotic Collection. This one is called Imperial. I have the fragrance break right here and let's jump right into the notes. Now the notes for Imperial, on the top notes we have citrus fruits and spicy notes. Mid notes we have amber and the base notes we have woody notes. Now this fragrance in the opening you're gonna get a really really big blast of a tinkling sensation. The tinkling sensation to your nose is coming from the spicy notes and the citrus notes. The mix of spice and citrus together really creates something that will capture your nose right away. You definitely notice that it is quite a different type of fragrance. To me it comes off slightly bit scratchy as well almost like a room freshener type of scratchiness. The citrus is strong, the spicy notes are strong as well. The fruitiness that's hinted in the top notes, it's not quite there for me. I smell mostly the spicy notes and the citrusy notes in the beginning, and it's just very, very strong. So this one is one that you should definitely not smell too close to your nose, definitely give it some room. Let the scent come to you, because this fragrance is one of those fragrances where it can be too harsh if you smell it way too close. And this one, I'm gonna say this right now, even though this is a scent department, is that you should definitely wear this in the outdoor occasion. Do not wear this indoor because it is quite scratchy, it is quite strong. And in the dry down, it doesn't really change all that much either. The dry down is pretty similar, it just gets a little bit more woody. It's a linear type scent. Linear type scents are scents that start off a certain way and ends almost exactly the same with slight changes. Like in this one, it stays the same pretty much the whole time. Just in the base, it gets a little bit woodier. But that's about it. Now in terms of versatility, again, this is an outdoor fragrance. Do not wear this in the indoor time. It will be slightly bit too scratchy and too strong. Maybe a little bit too pungent for an enclosed environment. In terms of season, this is a fall and winter season. Maybe spring season, but definitely not summer. It is slightly bit too strong for the summertime. In my honest opinion, if the sun was glazing on your skin, this might become a little bit too pungent and you might be annoyed yourself and wearing a scent like this. Overall, I would say that this fragrance is a one spray fragrance. Definitely do not go more than one spray. It is quite strong. One spray is really all you need for it. And in terms of gender, I would say this is gender neutral. Both a man and a woman can definitely pull this off. Freshness and spiciness doesn't typically have a gender to it. But I would say that if it does lean a certain gender, I would say masculine because of the woody notes. But again, both a man and a woman can pull this off. Slightly lean towards masculine. But again, a man or a woman can pull this off. In terms of occasion, when you can wear this fragrance, to me, this is more of a signature fragrance. You can wear this anytime you want really. If it fits your personality, you can wear this typically anytime. It's a fresh fragrance, so typically a fresh fragrance doesn't really have an occasion associated with it. You can always smell fresh any time of the day. So overall, it's a signature scent. If this fragrance fits your personality, you can wear this one anytime. All right, that's it for Imperial. If you smell Imperial and you like it, I recommend you check out Imperial Arabia. These two are very similar. This one has an added lavender note in the beginning, which gives it more of a clean vibe than this one. But this one also has more of a sophisticated type of scent to it. You can watch all the information on this fragrance in the video on Imperial Arabia. So yeah, if you like Imperial, definitely try out Imperial Arabia. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.